Gig Economy Service Fiverr is the latest freelancer company to go public, debuting at $26 a share, 23% higher than their initial pricing at $18 to $20. The company creates a marketplace to buy freelance services with a starting cost of $5 per job. Fiverr, much like its competitor Upwork, which had its IPO just a few months ago, provides a platform to trade digital services in a freelance capacity, capitalizing on the increase in freelancing or remote positions in the market. Growth projections for freelancing are increasing 3.5% per year, and according to Upwork's 2019 Future Workforce Report, 74% of millennials and Generation Z managers have workers who primarily work remotely. The report also reveals that 50% of managers had increased their use of freelancers since 2016. Millennial and Generation Z workers do appear to be gravitating towards this way of working, with nearly half of all millennials reportedly having a side hustle. In its filing, Fiverr stated, we designed our platform to make it easy for our buyers to find and purchase the digital services they are looking for without time-consuming negotiations or uncertainty of pricing, while offering them what we believe to be the best value for their money. At the same time, we enable our sellers to reach a large buyer universe, allowing them to spend more time on doing what they love and are best at, rather than on demand generation, contract negotiation, payment collections, and other requirements of running a digital services business. Fiverr was founded in 2010 in Tel Aviv, Israel, by Mika Kaufman and Shai Winninger. Services offered on the site include writing, translation, graphic design, video editing, and programming. Services start at $5, but can go up to several thousand with gig extras. They have received some criticism for advertising cheap graphic design services. In 2014, their ad stating, you are paying too much for design, caused a public outcry. They have since lifted the $5 base price and began allowing graphic designers, logo designers, voiceover artists, and other freelancers to charge the base prices that they set for themselves. Notably, the company have trademarked the word gig. Fiverr stock made 90% gains on its first day of trading on the New York Stock Exchange, despite the struggles of fellow gig-focused companies, including Lyft, Uber, and Upwork. CEO and co-founder Mika Kaufman has stated that the online market for freelance services is like e-commerce 20 years ago. Revenues for Fiverr rose to $75.5 million last year from $52.1 million the year before. Losses, however, also rose to $36.1 million compared to $19.1 million in the previous year. The company is now looking to grow its international presence, since 70% of its revenue currently comes from English-speaking countries. Fiverr also views its platform as infinitely scalable, which could allow the company to expand beyond the 200 or so categories of work that it currently offers. A key issue with them will be whether investors come to view it as a software company or a play on the gig economy. As whilst it's clear that the gig economy is growing, what's less clear is how companies like Fiverr and Upwork can make money from it. Fiverr, like a number of 2019's IPOs, is still yet to make a profit.